Hello everyone, how's it going? This wine goes back with another video and we are continuing the detective work. We shall continue now. Alright, we got two two of the It's from before my mother got sick and we moved here. Right. I loved reading stories about pirates, so my father find. drew a treasure map for me. I searched the whole house one clue at a time. It led me to this enormous tree in the yard where Daddy had put up a, a tire swing. Hmm. Now we know where the the thing is. He might have something in that tree. The clue. What are you looking at? There's something under it. I thought it would be under the tree. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. Because it was only under there. Bing, bing! Hello, Smirnoff residence. You're Looks dead! Familiar. No, I got you with my lasso! Can you quiet down, kids? Ben got killed for stirring the hornet's nest. And you confessed your crime! Kids, please. He'd been investigating athletes for months. Stone, among others. Mm -hmm. Dunn's notes aren't all that clear, and I'm not sure what he was after. Mm -hmm. But I'd say we're facing a widespread corruption case. Yep. Well, you're right. That could be some dangerous evidence. Bring it here ASAP. Sure, but there's something important that I need to finish first. Oh, are you ever gonna go to the pool? Oh, that's a cool thing because of the turnout to be he didn't get corrupt at all. Yeah, we found the the document back at the the guys. What was his name? Oh, Larry. I wanted to follow a certain lead on my own before Smirnov had the chance to see anything. According to his notebook, Dunn had seen Craig Spano at Sam's diner just four days before his death. Don't Get out of here, pussy! Hey! It's Mary. I'm sorry about Mary. I have questions for you. I have some questions for you. Oh, well, maybe I don't have answers for a pussy. It might have been easier to slap the information out of him, but I decided to trust in a universal truth. Everyone is guilty of something. You don't know who I am, right? Don't know and don't care. John H. Come on, spit it out. Public health inspector. I'm John H. Blackmore, public health inspector. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> there are some real freaks around here, so I have to be firm, you know? Have you eaten? Dinner's on the house. After you answer my question, I don't want to put my health at risk. After you answer my questions. Sure, go ahead. Your call. Always at your disposal, Inspector. Ask away. Fear turned him soft and made him talk. Sure enough, Don had been there a few days back with a chimpanzee who matched Spano's description. Right. Okay. Apparently, the guy still lived with his father. Don said he couldn't stay there a day more. For the time being, he would move into his place. Wait a minute! What does public health services have to do with that chimp? Um, he died of food poisoning. Nothing I fooled you. The chimp died of food poisoning. But wait! He, he didn't even eat! Which is even worse. Yeah. He left speechless. <laughs> That's uh, is a bad. <laughs> That's the best I can come up with. Dunn had taken Spano to his place. I okay. wanted to believe that when Randall Lee broke into the apartment, Spano fled to his former address. But where could that be? No clue. Okay. Hmm. Spano. Spano. The 
find out the way to the department. Spano. Spano. I was right. Gotcha. Greenwood. I kind of lined up right, but don't know how. But that was my pick, anyway. If the living have rich and poor neighborhoods, so do the dead. You know it. In the mid 19th century, Greenwood became the resting place to the city's most distinguished citizens. Okay. Thinkers, scientists, writers, inventors, artists, businessmen, politicians, police officers, Everyone. thieves, pimps, and murderers. Hmm. What about dogs and cats? Oh. Yeah, that's weird. Here lie the because they don't exist. The soulless minds that raised New York from the ground up. Now you know where to go to become somebody in the Big Apple. Yeah, the cemetery. You know it. All right. Who's gonna die this time? Oh, who's gonna point a gun at me? Oh, who's gonna shoot me? What's we looking at? What are you looking at? What do you want to look? You didn't even bring a goddamn phone. No, the light. Why do you need a phone? Alright, this is gonna be pretty problems, okay? Someone ran over to the murder. Wait. I shoot sure don't know. O'Leary witness Maybe. sent Randall to kill Dunn. He yeah. would have dragged him to his basement, given him his little speech, and then killed him himself. Right. That's something. Exactly. Because he asked us to help him. To find you, not John Killer. Which makes no Right. None of this. None of these links. Just, just, just wait. Mary has been sent. Uh, what stands out? None of that. It can't be right, but I could try. No, it's not that, is it? Mm. No, it's not right. It's not right. It's not right. It's not right. The question is that's not that. Okay, that's cut off. Who's passing the hours, doctor? The guy passing the yard's doctor. Right. No. Okay, I don't I don't know. Maybe something I needed more to it. One of these something with the apartment to to passing no. Wait, 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 no, 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 I get it. The guy in the picture and the five, the five of them. There we go. Got it. I'm good at Mitchell, that. Mitchell, who fought with Dunn during the war, yeah. tried to pass as Yale's doctor. Exactly. He can he, how did I not notice that? That was just easy pick. So, why we... Why are we here at the cemetery again? Right. I don't know. I've never trusted angels. Right. When they fall? Uh. Uh. 
Uh, oh, hell break loose. The world falls with them. They turn into demons. Devolved by demons. I don't know. The world would falls with them, I guess. The world falls with them. Alright. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, the tree. Someone was here before. I mean, recently. What's that? The four bases guarding their father. Y th no, I don't care about it. Really, I mean it. Someone was recently here. The food. That's what I wanted to pick. Still it is hot. Reasoned. Yeah. Because there's steam coming out. A little bit. Alright, uh, the hole. If this had been here over 30 minutes, it'd be covered in ants. Yes. And the water. Oh, that's, that's just nothing. What are we looking for? Or maybe I just follow the trail of food that might lead me somewhere, right? Think about food and the rap I did say, then... Then you didn't say anything. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why? Why did I not see this? Right, so... Yeah. Yeah, I take that. Thank, Funko. All right. It'd be even better with a skull between the bats. Yes. But um, why? Yeah, it's 1908. She means way before. Okay, the ball on the top. What it has to say. According to the book I found at Dunn's place. Fans of the sport leave baseballs on Bradwick's tomb to pay their respects. It's strange that I don't see any. Maybe they're gone with the wind, or somebody claimed them as part of their inheritance. The second one. I picked the second one. What have we just said? Right. I think there's nothing else here. Right, so I need to look into every single cemetery and just see what tombstone, actually, in the cemetery. I mean... Someone's trying to run away! Chase him! Yeah. I know there's something about the tree before because there's someone up in the tree, bro. Do you not hear it? Or is it? Or is it? Because I know because the guy was recently here with the food and everything. Where is he? Let me just navigate my life through here. My life was a brain. Where is he? He should be close. He's right there. He's right there in the between the trees. Right there. He's right there. He's right there. There, there, there. It's the monkey. Wait, that's... No, that's a tree. Yeah, it's the monkey. Got you, bro. It's the Spano. Spano, get out. All right, I'm gonna go really weird. I don't know what you got to say. Go ahead. Come on. What you trying to do? He knows you're still here. But he don't know that he'd be know that he's, he's here. Oh, makes sense. He left behind so many clues to let us know it was him. Yes. Okay. I found a baseball to glow at Joe's Dome's place. I'm investigating the case of corruption. Joe Dome met with someone at the diner. I've always been a Warriors fan. No, because he could see that, but have the gloves in my hand. Um, Joe Dunn met someone with diner. Joe Dunn met with someone at the diner, close to his gym. Then he took that person to his house, yeah. so that he didn't have to live at the cemetery. I would have never guessed the person's identity. I found a baseball. Okay, I, I think we probably had to go through all of Joe them. Joe Dunn's place. 
a glove signed by a great star. I couldn't believe my luck. And the warrior. I've always been a warrior of. Uh, I've always been a New York Warriors fan, although to be honest, they're not what they used to be. Exactly. Yet, they just haven't been the same without Craig Spano. Holy crap! He actually did jump. Come down. What the? Oh. I thought he was gonna grab the cigarette. That's what I thought. He wants a cigarette, bruh. <laughs> Did they do mind? Ah, you come back. Why did I say that? I could have said, uh, okay, don't hit me with the wall, ball, don't, don't you dare. Who are you? Who are you? John Black, a private in Michigan, John H. Okay, no, H FBI doesn't I'm work. I'm John Blackside, private investigator. How's Joe? One question at a time. It's my turn. Yeah, we play Simon Says. No, Simon says doesn't work. No, that, 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 your that, turn. No, no, you did no. Okay, okay, wait. What was you learning at Don's place? Why are you hiding here? Why did you meet with Don? Okay, we need to choose the coin right. Okay, all of those are important, but but the hiding bit. Maybe that's important too. All right, let's ask why did he meet with them? Why did you meet with Joe Dunn? Exactly. Because he was looking for me. He came here one morning, but I was uh, too embarrassed to come down because he left a baseball with his, his initials on, on by the tombstone. Wow. Sam's Diner, tomorrow, 12.30 a.m. Because he, he knew they want to kill me. What did he want from you? Yeah. And who wants to kill you? One question at a time. God damn it. I picked that thing. How's Joe? What would happen if I told him the truth? Would he lose it? Could I take that chance? Um. Should I or should I not? So, I mean, he was thinking like, okay, for example, if you did tell the truth to this guy, he would tell what happened to him, right? Uh, I could be honest, but he might not say it because he doesn't have a way of knowing, he doesn't read any newspapers. Let's pick it. Let's pick it, you know. Joe Dunn is dead. Murdered. I told you, Joe. How did it happen? One question at a time. <laughs> Let's go. One question at a time. My turn. <laughs> yeah, we pick the uh, same thing. Why the camera is zooming out? What? I don't like this. Okay, we got another extra question. God damn it! Why did you meet with? We already asked him. What was your glad during the prayers? What did Don want from you? Why are you hiding here? Hmm. What did Don want from you? Yes. What did Don want from you? He wanted to know who was playing dirty in the sporting business. Did you Dirtier find than it? usual, that is. Wrecked lives, oh, God damn careers it. ruined at the top of the game. He wanted to know if the same had happened to me. He wanted to know if the end of my career and my disappearance had disappearance. anything to do with all that. He wanted me to confirm who was behind it all. The guy who had him killed. Our old friend, the surgeon. Surgeon. You met him. 
searching. Surgeon. Yes, the doctor. Oh, okay. Exactly. Is Mitchell the surgeon? Is yeah. he the person behind all of this? Could be. That surgeon you mentioned. Is he my turn? Ah. <sighs> Fine. I want to know why I should trust you. Hmm, that's the right question. You should have asked me the first time. Hmm, because I take my job serious, because I could have killed you. Do it for our friend. Uh, okay, it's, he's not going to trust that. Because B is a cutoff, scratched off the list. Because I take my job serious. Would you trust that? Yes. Possibly. Because I never lie. No, because that's bullshit. Because I could have killed you. My job serious. Yes. Because I take my job very seriously. It's my turn. That surgeon that you mentioned, is he in this photo I got here? Oh, oh hey. God. He ran away. He uh, ran away. Hey, that toss was... Uh, How did he run away? Both my ear and my self-esteem would hurt for days. <laughs> yeah, been at least I had a new lead ball. to follow. The surgeon. The bastard had avoided my scrutiny by passing as a hospital doctor. But now, all of my senses were on guard. No matter how good the disguise, or how well he hid, I would find him. Ah, yeah, because you know who I am, but... I didn't know at that time it was a surgeon. That's just... Stupid. So, what you're saying is, yes. one, there's a corruption scandal involving all kinds of athletes. Days. What happened to two more two, days? Two, our puppet master is a surgeon named Mitchell, a man yeah. who happened to fight in the war with Dunn, right? He used to be a friend, maybe just a false lead. Everything points to him now. Maybe, but it could be no more than a false lead. Anyway, where was I? Number three, right? I'm sure if you own dedication. Three, since Dunn was on his trail, Mitchell or whomever hired an anteater to get rid of him. Yeah, that's right. Then, since you were also shaking the wasp's nest, he went after you. But the anteater made a mistake, and Mitchell or whomever killed him to cover his own tracks. And, wait. That's four. my... That's my the key to okay. all this lies with a common friend of Dunn's and Mitchell's, Craig Spenow. Do you really trust him? I don't trust anyone. I think he's telling the truth. I think he's hiding something. Exactly. That's the reason I have he ran. I'm the feeling there's something Craig didn't tell me. I don't know what exactly, but I'll find out. Four. No, I mean five. <laughs> five. Dunn was murdered. Five. I mean four days after taking Spenno to his house. Yeah. If that doesn't make him suspect, no, you makes can't. sense, doesn't it? It doesn't add up. No, I mean. it doesn't add up. Why not? Just a hunch. Yes. Let's follow up with the suspects. You told Smirnoff you're convinced that Yale is innocent. But what about O'Leary? O'Leary oh, wasn't involved in this. Six. No, nah, I know O'Leary. And he wouldn't yeah. have sent a hitman. He would have taken matters into his own hands. Exactly. What about Cassidy? Cassidy Seven, right? would have done the same thing. Cassidy would have done the same thing. Because so far we went through Cassidy because No, he wouldn't he would have no. He wouldn't have done it the fact. Um Because he killed yeah, Cassidy was Yeah, he would have done it. Because 
He didn't shoot the guy. The possible victim. There's nothing. Cassidy Axford, no. Right, there's gonna be so many things to go through. Why did he punch? Why the, the the one clue right there is still there? I can't figure that clue out unless. Uh, right, let me just try to put this together if that works. No, it doesn't work anyways. Never mind then. Okay, wait. Don't plant out. Wait a second. Wait. Reckless by Cassidy Axe, Reckless by Impulse. Exactly. I think it's safe to rule out Cassidy as Dunn's murderer. He seems too impulsive to have planned such a twisted crime. Exactly. Whoever planned the whole thing knew the suicide theory would fall through. Yeah. So he manipulated the clues to incriminate Yale. Cassidy is too impulsive to pull off such an intricate plan. Exactly. So, even if you have your doubts, Mitchell is the one pulling the strings. And you know Possibly. why? Because you in have some novels, the murderer oh. is always someone the detective knows from the beginning. Well, that could be the case in British novels. You know, yes. where everyone in the mansion where the murder took place is a suspect. But this might just be an American whodunit, where the detective doesn't even meet the culprit until the last scene. You mean we still don't know who's pulling the strings? I didn't say that. Yeah, possible suspects. How did it go with Helen Moore? Uh, I didn't get anything. Even though it started out really well, I asked to interview her along with her boyfriend, Al Stone. Since I'm a big shot, they were happy to oblige. Possible suspects, right? Perfect. Now, time for the interview. I'll go back and forth so you don't get bored. Do so, I have to respond to the same thing? First? Oh, no. Ask, ask, ask Helen. Here's one for Helen. Oh, my God. Do you fear the box of all take her? Ta -da 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 -da. Ask, oh, my God. How much does the champ page? Oh. What can you say about the rumors that claim you were in a relationship with Desmond O'Leary? Oh, honey. It would be such a shame to mention that shady character in your article, wouldn't it? Why? I'm sure your newspaper would hate to fire someone as talented as you. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, now. Okay. Okay, ask both. Ask, uh, ask both. Here's one for Let's both. Let's go. How did you meet? What do you think about sports and celebration? How did you manage to challenge? Okay, how did you meet? How did you meet? At the party organized by Des... Oh, who threw the party doesn't matter one bit. What matters is that I saw you and you saw me. Our paths crossed and our lives were changed forever. Moving on. Ask Helen, actually. Okay, Helen. Uh, do you ever fear the boxing will take at Orange Brian? Damn. Dating a boxer can be dangerous. Aren't yes. you afraid that those blows to the head will take a toll on his intellectual capacity? Honey, take a look at my man and then look at yourself. You really think I'm with him because of his intellectual capacity? Helen! Write this <laughs> down. Nothing will change my man. His smarts, manliness, and integrity are all boxing proof. He looked now what? Right. Okay. Should I take a picture? Here's a question for Al. Oh my god. What do you think about uh, meeting managers to compare and asking? Okay, there we go. That should be. Your manager is Frank Cassidy, president of the Boxing Managers Association of New York. According to him, only boxers working with member managers should be allowed to compete. What do you think about that? Uh. We never talk politics, honey. Why is she not letting me talk? Should steer clear of controversy and stay focused on their sport. Don't you think? Yeah. She's not that's letting right. him talk. Okay, one more question. And. Oh. Al, honey, can you answer it? I've got to go say hi to a fan. <laughs> 
I'll be right back, Mr. Pulitzer. Uh, <laughs> Wait. You mean she stopped smiling when that fan showed up? Uh, yeah. I Could you describe him for me? Can you take a picture? I'll be able to show you something as soon yeah, as exactly. I'm done now I'm going to take the picture. Pictures. And exactly. actually, I thought it was odd too. Oh, so while I continued to interview Stone, I managed to take some pictures of more. Exactly. And whoever her mysterious fan was. Okay, those pictures were blurred out because I didn't take any pictures. Makes sense. Right, now I have to so, take pictures. Uh, where were we? Okay, okay, take a picture. Let's get that picture taken. All right, now. What am I doing? Okay. Turn around and show me those biceps from behind. Like that? That's it. All right. Can I spin? What do I? What am I doing? Wait, I I accidentally moved. Stand still. I'll take another one. Yeah, there we go. What's with me today? Don't move, please. Timing. All right. Wait, what? What am I doing? I meant to take something. All right, there we go. Now we got it. Should we keep at it? Okay, uh, do you feel jealous about dating American Sweetheart and, uh... Alright, let me take another picture. I'm gonna take one more, alright? Alright. Raise your eyebrows and your arm, and your chest, I think that would do. Okay, now raise your head and your arms up like you were celebrating a victory. Like this? Like exactly. this? Yes, Angel Lee. You know it. What's up with me? Stand still. I'll take it again. Ooh. I can't seem to get it right. Wait, that's the... Don't move. That's the doctor guy. Okay, I kind of... A little bit skimmed about, about it time. works. Finally. It makes more sense. We're all set. Wait. Yes. So, are you telling me the photos are developed? Or is that what you said <laughs> to Stone? Both. Just look. Yes, it's it's the reptile. It's him. The reptile. Who's that guy? I know he's not a fan. You should have seen her face when she saw him. Right, wait, 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 wait. The reptile. Ah, uh, yes. Look at his hand. Is he pulling something out of Moore's purse? No, he's or putting, putting back it in. He's putting it in. Yeah, this one. It is him, reptile. I know he's a surgeon. Hmm. It is surgeon. You. It's easy. You know that. Look at him. Face. Oh. First clue. It's Wait, easy to wrap. That's him. Yes, Ooh, Mitchell. Mitchell, the surgeon. Seriously? Yes. <laughs> we got him. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. Not yet. Not yet. Just. What is that? I've seen no. that matchbox before. Focus, Black Sad. We need to figure out how to find that Mitchell guy. A bar. Mm. Hey, pal. Did you hear what I just said? We need to keep looking at all those pictures. No, we that's in your hand. Clue that'll take us to Mitchell. That's in your hand. Hey, see? There. Just like I was saying. Yeah, because uh who gave us the the matchbox? Uh what was the guy with the uh the bar manager? The pool. We're going to the pool. Exactly. We're going to the pool. That's the answer is. That's where the answer is. The pole is A. Brawls aren't even the worst part of my job. Mm -hmm. Sure, you may take a beating, but at least you get the chance to defend yourself. Uh, sure. But when you're sitting in your car all night, there's no way out. You can make way, bruh. Your legs cramp up. Your back and neck feel stiff. Mm -hmm. Your entire body aches to be somewhere else. It's oh. boring and repetitive. People were finally leaving the place. The bar was about to close. Now you gotta sneak in. 
Why though? And I hadn't Why seen Mitchell go in or out. Yeah, because you must be I living no choice. in the burr. It's the reptile. He will recognize me. God damn, he will recognize me. I see you took me up on my invitation. And you're smart. You knew not the common to my anti-fur regulars had all cleared out. I can't say no to good advice. Or good bourbon. Mm. Cheers. Did you actually drink? Oh yeah, cool. He's looking at you, Mr. Uh, what was your name? As far as I knew, the iguana always stayed neutral. He played poker with Cassidy, but his joint was used as the gambling drop-off for O'Leary's operation. Did it yeah. make sense to keep faking it, or was it too dangerous not to? Farnham. Howard M. Farnham II. That's right. Howard Farnham from Ding Dong, Texas. He chose to play his safe guy as a card, yes. You're natural. You're even better at pool than poker. Oh, uh, yeah, you're telling me that. Easier. No cheating. <laughs> you barely flinched when Cassidy decided to teach that ego a lesson. What do you want a fella to say? I was to flash practice prior and my first showdown I'd done myself. Between you and me, partner, this ain't my first showdown. We all got our own lethal barber. <laughs> Tell me, what do you really want with Cassidy? I can't say it's clear to me. Damn it. Well, nobody's perfect. That's the box manager, so share that. Well, you see, Desmond O'Leary is my enemy. If you know a thing or two about him, I can leave it at that. Don't worry about it. I was only curious. So, what about me? What do you want from me? No one comes to La Iguana just to drink and play pool. I'm How here you looking for that? a regular of yours. Dr. Angus Mitchell. What for? Hmm, I want to partner up with them. We fought together, drink up in the world. That's better with him, him and me. That's between Dr. Mitchell and myself. No offense. I don't have time to explain how things work here at La Iguana, but I'll be blunt. Not this way. You don't understand. I have to talk to him or else. Or else what? Um, I'll tell Cassidy about your dealing with old Larry. You lose your chance to make a pretty penny. I got friends you don't want to meet. Penny. You'd be losing your chance to make a pretty penny. I know how to reward my allies. You think I'd spend my time in this dump if all I cared about was the money? Please, cut the crap. Anything else? I got friends you don't want to meet. I got friends in high places. Friends you don't want to meet. Oh, you don't think I do? You think this dump would still be open otherwise? I hate to say this. But you're running out of options. Right. The last one it is. I don't think Cassidy would be too happy I have about nothing to roll this here dump plays in old Leary's gambling operation. You follow me? Son of a bitch. <laughs> All right. Give me your phone number, and I'll give you a call when Mitchell shows up. No. You're going to call him right now. And you're gonna give him this message. It was. You're sitting in your car all night. There's no way out. Your legs cramp up. Your back and neck feel stiff. Exactly. Your entire body aches to be somewhere else. Hmm. It's boring and repetitive. It's so bad that your thoughts spiral in a never-ending loop, like when you're stuck in your car. 
on surveillance duty all night. The owner of La Iguana was supposed to tell Mitchell that a certain anteater was still alive and that it was only a matter of time before he ratted him out. With a bit of luck, that would make him nervous enough to force his hand. It worked. Now all I had to do Just was follow, follow him. him. It worked as we stood, as we thought. It's crazy. That's a nice way of parking, I guess. I don't know. I would have parked better at that time. Why is he always wondering if someone followed him or something? gonna do what you gonna do what are we gonna do oh it's coming out oh it's the guys it's the pose guy all right all right we can hear what he's talking the batch if you remember from the night it's him who was trying to kill me it's the money he went in without it I wonder what's in it yes question mark gun is it the gun from what are they talking what are they saying what are they saying we'll be just fine don't worry Gil stand guard right here if the cat shows up you know what to do I'll be back in an hour they ordered to kill me. Hmm. He's not too pleased about me arriving here. So he want me to finish him up, finish me off. He want to finish me off. He wanted to finish me off. Eh? Right. What do you want to do? Could I take him by surprise from over there? Although I don't know how I'd get there. Climbing up the ladder. Possible. Not up there, but... You know. Do you think it's possible? Can you climb? want me to do? You don't even have a light. Oh, over there. Ah, climb up the ladders. The staircase. No, oh, wait, what?
There should be a way up, right? What you want to do? Do we do a big loop? The shut the door. That's not right. What in the world am I doing? How do you know what you're doing? What am I doing? Oh, maybe this will help me to... Get up there. Maybe. I don't know. There we go. So I thought. Step on here fully. No trip and fall. You might break bone or two though. Ah, you can climb it. Taken by space. Hmm. Do you not hear that? Were you that quiet? Stay bird. Now. Now. They didn't work. <clears throat> God damn, horse killed me. What else can you do? Oh, you can go up? I want to go up. Oh, you can just go in. Somehow, I guess. I guess you can just, just go in to the building or something. It is a little bit raining, so... To expect. You can look through the windows, bro. Hmm, what do we have here? Hmm. I did mess up a guy's face with an extinguisher once, but this kind is too heavy for my current needs. Okay. What about the shield? That's good. Ah, oh, yeah. You got it.
So, still, what was in, what was in the box? He's not dead, he's just unconscious, right? You know that. Pretty much. Oh, what is he doing here? Yeah, I didn't trust him. But, what is he doing here? How did he get there? I don't know how did he get up there so quick. Oh, you should hear him by now. Hmm. Okay. What does this place have to hide? Who knows, bro? Let's find out. Let's go to the first room in here. According right. to this, the warehouse belonged to a Canadian import company. So, what does um, why Mr. Mitchell Mitchell is here? What is the business? For him, it seems someone was working. Climb up the radar. No, uh, it, it showed me. Oh, my God, stupid thing. Climb back up. Is something to do with rituals in this place or what? Who's that? Believe in your son. Okay. It could be an Ojibwa totem pole. The what? In which case, the top animal would be a crane. Okay. I don't know what you mean, but whatever. Cool. A dream catcher. Yeah. It's supposed to protect children during the night, trapping all evil in its spider web. I don't know. I don't know about if that. If I'm not mistaken, these are incense sticks. What? Used in cleansing rituals. I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but whatever, dude. Whatever. Too many, too many stuff, see? Okay. And what is it doing here, though? Up in this place. Weird. Weird questions, man. What's in this battles? No questions asked. What is that? Press the button. Hmm. Hmm. Do I need a key? Hmm. It looked like a nuke, but I don't know. I must need a key or something. Hmm. Not in my light up, so that means I need to find a um something to power this up. Not sure what. Um Okay. What about this? It's the same. Hmm. Yeah, I need to tune up my memories of uh, uh, how to operate that thing. It's some kind of uh, 
light source. Need to power or something. Who do you want to call? Well, I need help. Who would I call? No. Think I'd be fine. Think I'd be fine. But, you know. I think I will survive. Um. What am I looking for? What's in the containers, though? That would be a right answer. I mean, question. Like, what's in there? It's... It's not opening? How do you use your force? Use your muscles, bro. Open up. I pressed a button. That should have done something. Oh my god. Or if you have full. Um what about this then? Would this help me? Maybe I had to call someone. Dash help. Does this work? Wait, doesn't the the the, the there's only three pole but doesn't have the the buttons for it. Ugh, dude, this is not right. I don't know. I need to find out something. There's a link. I don't know what link I'm looking for. I just come down here. Okay, there's nothing in here, in here either. Okay, there's a trip down freaking tire chair blocking my way. Oh, uh, gotta be kidding me. Hmm. Oh, that didn't help me nothing. That's the way in and out. All right. <coughs> Don't you even right. think of screaming. I might not even talk. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> That's the key or something. It looks like an arrowhead. Yeah. Why? 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 What's with the arrowhead? Yeah, that would link up. Everything seems to prove that Gil is a Native American. Yep. And I'm almost sure that the woman in the picture is his mother. Okay. Mother always believe in their son. You know who always believe in you? Uh-huh. Your mother. My mother never lost her faith in me. And I gave her plenty of reasons when I was a kid. I was javelin deliquent. I flung every glass. I was the class bully. It all started with something as stupid as keeping the change when she sent me for groceries. Then I started stealing fruit from the street stands. 
And finally, I turned to pickpocketing. Somehow, my mother managed to keep me in school until I got into college. But I never gave her reasons to believe in me then either. Hmm. I kept up. I kept bad company. I rarely went to class. I rarely went to class my freshman year. Obviously, I was never a sophomore. Then Pearl Harbor happened. I got drafted and sent to Europe. I was already soldier. I was ruthless soldier. I was already a cowardly soldier. I knew killing Nazis was my moral duty, my mission, my redemption. But I couldn't. I spent the whole war hiding and shooting at air. But when I got back, I was treated like a pariah, a veteran outcast who never should have come back in the first place. And yet, my mother never ceased to... <coughs> what the... I also fought in the war. That's where I met Mitchell. They used me, like many of my people. And then they just tossed us aside. The first time Mitchell offered me to do this, I told him to take a hike. I wanted to get my act together, but I ended up begging him. I don't like Mitchell. I don't like the things he makes me do. I don't like that German rat either, but what I like least of all is myself. Right. I don't like what I did during the war, and I don't like what I'm doing now. Do you know what it's like to kill a friend for the sake of the mission? Huh. Girl killed a partner. But my mother, she always thought I'd make amends and start anew. Girl killed a partner to save her, okay. Girl killed a partner to success for the mission as well. Maybe it's time I did just that. Mm. It's number three. It's number three. Okay, what do we have in number three? Okay. What do we have in number three? Something important? Mm -mm. Are you stupid? Put the key in there first. Turn it down. Now press the key. Now it should work. Oh my god, why did I do that? Right, there we go. I should be pressurized or something? I don't know what's going on. Oh, the doorway. What the? That's something. He's following me. Okay. He didn't come down yet. So it's good. Okay. What is this? An experimental place? What's going on? Someone lives here? What? Um, uh, Who's kid is that? Go away! Hey. Who's that? Back. It's alright. Don't be afraid, little girl. I'm a friend. I'm going to get you out of here. I really don't want to scare you. I don't want to scare you, okay? Yeah. Peter, no hurt. 
Oh. Hey. Vita, no her. Hey. Vita, no her. Okay. Did he come down? I can see he collects. Hey, he didn't come down, did he? What's that blue thing on the side? I don't care. Alright, let's see what we got here. What is this place? What is he exploring on? Oh my god. Here's so many cards, dude. So many cards. Baseball cards. I'm not a fan of it, but... So many of them. Alright, let's roll. Hmm. Turn the movie. Let's roll down there. I don't think you need it, but whatever. It's cool. I guess. Let's play it. See what do we have. Subject Brunhilde Rat. Bruna. Treatment. Day 1514. The patient's ability to speak continues to diminish. Now okay. she can only pronounce the occasional word in German. It's as if she had gone back in time, not only due to her declining cognitive function, but okay. because she appears to have forgotten everything she learned since her arrival in America. This degeneration persists, and yet, Perhaps due to drastic reduction of benzoprodine dosage and an increase of anupropion, we have observed a 3% of deceleration of said degeneration. Furthermore, and perhaps this is the I'm, I'm going to tell you this. So I have no clue what the he's talking about. Exhibits There's a medical term. recovery terms. of her speaking function. It's not a lot, and yet we are on the right track. All hope is not lost. Okay. That's fun to know. I guess. Oh my gosh. How many medicines for people? He has a list of them. Even Helen, Mel, Khan, Julian. It's a map lap or something. I don't know what the hell is this place, but there's pills for everyone. I'm smoking. Yeah, I guess that. Seems like he's been keeping records of people's film. Right. Subject Craig Spano. Right. Treatment De Zero. The subject is a veteran baseball player who mm -hmm. has lost speed, strength, and agility due to the regular aging process. The patient refers intense pain on the right scapula, most likely caused by an old injury. Unfortunately, due to the injury's nature, surgery is not advised. The goals of our medical approach are twofold. To relieve pain caused by the prior injury so that the subject can play without symptoms. And to help the patient regain the physical condition lost in the aging process. Thus allowing him to perform at elite levels. To that effect, he will receive daily administration of strong opioids along this treatment. Day 128. Treatment so far has been a success on all fronts. The patient no longer feels pain when using his right arm. Circumstance that allows him to pitch without fear. Furthermore, the patient's athletic performance is not only up to par with that displayed at the height of his career, but it has even exceeded all expectations improving the subject's precision and focus. So far, the only side effect seems to be a slight euphoria 
experienced three hours after dosage, which subsides four hours later, taking the patient on an emotional roller coaster of sorts with bouts of mild trembling. Treatment. Day 341. The patient's health has visibly deteriorated. Moments of euphoria and boosted physical performance have become increasingly shorter, while the ensuing periods of depression and weakness have become longer, including severe trembling and tachycardia. Although we have met all therapeutic goals, we will proceed to terminate the treatment in order to avoid causing irreparable physical and mental damage to the patient. Okay. Right. Hmm. Interesting too. Seems like all of those people were taking this medication. A list of names? Somehow related to chemical agents? Yes. But Bobby L was crossed out. Obviously he's dead. And they know that. But what did you find, Shopper? There are a bunch of things we found out right now, eh? Which means Bill Bottles Exactly. Mitchell is cashing in by selling drugs to enhance athletes' performances. Exactly. That yeah, makes more sense than anything else. But still, there is. Okay, you got another clue. Delegations, right? Dedications, I meant to say. Mitchell, Spyro. The worst part Spano. of Mitchell's scheme Spano. Spano. isn't that it's illegal or unethical. It's that he didn't even care about compromising the athlete's health. Dangerous meds. Yes. And it was illegal testing. You know. Illegal testing is not right. They should be punished. Okay, uh, I think we are done here for sure. Pretty much. I think we all got everything we wanted. So we get out of this thing. See what we got on the other side of the road. Okay. Do you have anything in the down this side? No? Okay. Let's try to see if you can talk the girl out. Hey. Vita, no hurt. I'm not here to hurt you, girl. I'm sorry. <gasps> Take a puppet. Don't be. Why did I have a key? Um, <laughs> once upon a time, there was uh, <clears throat> another good story seller. Story set teller. There was a space harani. There was a beautiful princess. It's a good girl. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess called... Brunhilda! Hi, my name is Brunhilda, and <laughs> I'm very happy, said Brunhilda. And then Brunhilda, who had a beautiful name... Really beautiful. A really beautiful name ran into someone very special. Oh, who was it? A very evil dragon, a crazy wizard, a magic cat. A magical cat called John. I'm a magical cat, and my name is John. 
<laughs> Crazy hey, dude. John the cat. I really like magical cats. I'm yeah. Hilda. I'm going to use my magical power to help you. Get you out of a cage. Bake some delicious spice. Fill some color balloon. Get out of a cage, too. Nice. It's sad. You say silly things, John the cat. So what are you going to help me do? Oh, uh, fill some color balloons, bake some delicious pie. Bake some delicious pies. <laughs> I love pies. Which is your favorite? Wow, that's a very hard question. <gasps> but John the Cat, it's the easiest question in the world. Let me show you how easy it is. My favorite pie is... Blueberry Bay. Blueberry! <laughs> Oh, Brunhilda? Mm. That's exactly what I was about to say. <laughs> she can't speak, can she? Burn. John. Brunhilda. Front. <laughs> She's not happy. Do you play? Oh, she's trying to Look. speak though. <laughs> uh, okay. Hi, bird. Why are you wearing that mask? Well, uh, God. Uh, well, maybe we should get out of here. What do you think, bird? And what about you, Boonhilda? Uh -huh. Don't you think that? Uh... What was that sound? Oh, she felt act like a good dad. Flavor B. Don't know why. Okay, are we good? Are we gonna go? What's gonna happen here? Are we done here or what? She has a book, but I think it's a storybook or something. You know there's someone here. You know it, didn't you? Gil? You know you're not allowed down here? You know you're not allowed. It's you bastard! I should kill you right here, right now! I don't know! You don't know? some drugs on that girl. How much much I pay you? I know you're testing drugs on that girl. Brunhilde? No! She's my daughter! Wait, what? She was born with a degenerative disease. A rare condition similar to the Angleman syndrome. There are only four known cases like hers, and none of the patients reach the age of five. Oh, fuck. My but fault. I couldn't give up. I continued to research and found something. It didn't make her better, but it anyway, kept her alive. That same treatment used on healthy subjects seems to improve their stamina uh -huh. and their reflexes. It also seems to improve their pain threshold. Okay. Somehow, the Reich heard about my experiments and tried to recruit me to create super soldiers. Okay? Yes, that Reich. We're talking late 30s, Berlin. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. I escaped with Brunhilde and came to your country. But the American military also heard about me. Did they? I'm pretty sure. I spent the entire war experimenting with drugs on soldiers. Some were highly effective, I must say. Pretty sure. When the war was over, my experiments were discarded. I was forbidden all access to the drugs and Brunhilde got worse. 
Oh, that's sad. But then God sent me Angus Mitchell. We had met during the war, and he came to offer me a deal. Uh huh. I would make drugs for athletes, yeah. and he would sell them. And with my earnings, I could pay for Brunhilde's treatment. Right. Well, you. What else do you want me to say? Twice. The owl's name appears twice. What are the long terms of those drugs? You keep food alive. Prices high. The owl's name appears twice. What are the long term effects of these drugs? We already know. I noticed Yale's name appears twice on your list of athletes. Yes. One mention was crossed out. Why? I don't know. A couple of months ago, Mitchell told me to prepare pills suited to his profile. But a week ago, he told me to stop. And then two days ago, he asked me to make them again. About those pills. Yeah. What is he looking at? Ah. Should have thought of that. Don't dwell on it, Josh. You had to tell him the truth in order to protect Brunhilda. I would have done the same thing. Finish packing up your things and stop torturing yourself, okay? Thanks, Angus. I won't be long. Oh, honey. You like living here? Yeah, me too. But we have to go somewhere else and it's all that bad cat's fault. Yes, sweetie. We're going to a new home now. A prettier one. And you'll be happier there. Now go with Papa, honey. Give him a kiss. Go on. Give him a kiss. Go on. <laughs> oh my god, he's gonna close the door. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about this, Josh. Exactly at that but fucking. We gave it our best, didn't we? Huh? What? What do you mean, Angus? Oh my god. I wish it hadn't come to this. He's gonna Angus, kill both of wrong? them. Goodbye, Josh. Ah, uh, dude, this sucks. Look, <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> no! There's no other ending, right? For that, from right. I hope you're happy, you son of a bitch. They were good people. You aren't goddamn scum, dude. I hope that made you feel better. I like it when you smile. You're so far from the truth. What the? God damn it, I want the goddamn conks, bro. Coming out of that thing, I'm gonna hit him really hard. The mask would buy me a bit of extra time. The question was, how much? What are you trying to do? The mask! Yes. Did he shoot me? Or did you shoot randomly? He didn't shoot me, did he? No, he didn't. I think the monkey closed the door. If I'm right. What are you looking at? What are you doing? I'm trying to punch him. Do you still think that... Spano? 
Spano just ran out that way. What do I do? I think you just have to pick. You need to ask him questions, but... I don't get it. I don't get it, dude. I don't get it. Does that mean Mitchell's gonna die? Most of the things happening, I don't know, does it have to be like this though? You know? Hasn't he taken his medication? So what's going on? His eyes are re turning red. No, no. That's my second lead right there. He's dead too. Seems stupid. There's no more leads. There's no more leads to this. Maybe there is. Don't torture yourself. You did everything you could. Will you make it? The doctors think so. They found him unconscious by the basement door. What? Do you think? Okay.
Yeah, we know that bit. No, wait. Um, he closed the door. show the, the head cut oh it makes more sense uh, and he found him next to the basement yes that leads right there block the basement door from the outside to kill Mitchell you think that's a serious Maybe. accusation are you sure or is this just a theory of yours I'm positive I'm positive Gil told me himself. Mitchell practically forced him to work for him. And I've got reasons to believe that Gil is a bit trigger happy. Besides, I'd say he wasn't even really unconscious when they found him. That he was just pretending. Huh. You think Gil was involved in the previous murders? Gil. Could be. Sniper. Yeah. Yes. What if it was Gil who killed his partner Randall Lee under Mitchell's orders? Another serious accusation. Are you sure? I'm positive. Yes. Everything points in that direction, including yeah. my gut. Wait. Couldn't Mitchell be Randall Lee's murderer? Can it be though? Mitchell missed two shots point blank. The sniper ran at the ledge. Yes. So he misses with two shots at point blank range, and then he hits a guy smack in the forehead from across the street? No. Mitchell is not the sniper who wiped out Randall Lee. Yeah, I guess you're right. But we still don't know what caused Craig Spano's death. Yeah, I know that. It's easy. I already figured that out. The Mitchell helps overcome the drugs. And he uses the fan. Um. God damn thing right there goddamn right there's no doubt about it spano took drugs from the lab and they killed him yeah but if that were true how many more athletes are in danger all of them and most importantly who are they is bobby yale involved names it doesn't matter i didn't see them all but write down these names peter Lowe, xavier chains Helen Moore, Bill Goldman, Miles Benton, Alexander Wood, Jacob Ziegler, and yes, Bobby Yale. Hmm. Thanks. Saving lives for a change, huh? In any case, this has got to stop. We're friends, damn it. You should have warned me about this. Uh, I should have called you. I didn't know how to reach you. I didn't trust the cops. I should have let you know. I'm sorry. Hey, John. Surprise. <laughs> it could have given a tip to a friend, don't you think? Or is that only the case when, uh, when I help you?
Get that guy out of here. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's get this over with. Yeah. When the war ended, Mitchell convinced Groon to use his super soldier drugs on the lead athletes. Somehow, Dunn found out about Mitchell's scheme. So when Mitchell heard that Dunn was on to him, he ordered Randall Lee to kill him and frame Yale for the murder. Then, he made Randall search Dunn's house and the gym for any incriminating evidence he might have had against him. The poor cleaning lady died almost by chance. That's right. When you stuck your nose in the case, he tried to scare you by sending his thugs to give you a beating. And when that didn't work, he asked Randall Lee to finish you off on the gym rooftop. But Randall not only failed, he got captured. So Mitchell ordered Gil to put a bullet through his head, which only made Gil upset. You kept getting closer and closer to the point of discovering his headquarters. So when Mitchell him realized him. he was cornered, he burned his bridges by setting the lab on fire, along with Dr. Groon and his daughter. Gil saw the opportunity to get back at Mitchell, so he blocked the only exit so that he would also die in the fire. Did I leave any loose ends? Just a few. But don't worry about it. I'll take care of them now. So I guess thanks for everything. Yeah. I think this is the end. Do you think? It's gonna be. Oh no, can you not? Can you not say this is the end? Please, don't say that. I mean, this is so... It was a great story bit though. Like, could it change? Could In I... In classic like, noir change? films and novels, Solving a case never amounts to a happy ending. The detective is always left with a sense of bitterness. A feeling that, before he took the case, the world was a better place. Hmm. That he was a better person. Come on, now speed it out! Sometimes I just let my character get the best of me. What do you want from me? I told Stone what I knew. That he was going to let Yale win. That if he didn't, O'Leary would destroy Helen Moore's career. And that Moore was doomed either way. Or would be, as soon as America discovered her sweetheart was on drugs. I don't believe you. No way. Who sent you? Today? Nobody. Yeah. And what if I did believe you? What would that change? If I don't do this for her, how could I ever look her in the eyes? How could we stay together? You think you'll stay together when you lose your title and they accuse her of doping? At least I know I tried. You're right, go ahead, take a dive. You could end up in jail. You lose your intimacy. You're on you. I came to convince you otherwise, but I think you might be right. You better take a dive. <laughs> I didn't take you for a romantic, Black Sad. I feel you. But trust me, your manager is a murderer. Get as far away from him as possible. Hey, Black Sad! Thank you. Okay. That was the last of the episode. Bit the I didn't even realize that. That was the end of it. So, will there is there is another ending or like possible endings to this game or what? I actually want to know. Maybe there is. Maybe there isn't. I can look. I could play again. There should be answers somewhere. Now we know who the murderers are. Mitchell. Yale confirmed to me that Dunn found out that Mitchell was giving him meds. That was the reason they argued the evening of his death. Okay. In fact, I was clean at the time. Hadn't used for days. I didn't want to go down that road. I wanted to follow Joe. But he discovered everything. 
He didn't believe me when I said I had nothing to do with it. But you used again. Only after his death. I, I needed to cope. But the drugs gave you a panic attack. Yeah. But I've been clean ever since. Mitchell gave you the pills when he stopped by the hospital. Hence, your miraculous recovery. Are you planning on taking them before the fight? Don't do it. Do it for the gym. Don't do it, Bobby. Someone has to save the gym. I owe it to Joe. And Sonia. And my Aunt Mary. You owe them dignity. Do they enough money to save the gym? Thorpe has enough money to save the gym. But he won't be able to save you if you go through with this. Sorry about your Aunt Mary. She was a good woman. So what now? What changes? That makes more sense of the art. There's no wind, by the way. So... What is the end? There's so many changes in this twist. Flicker up to scandal. Stone and Yale hadn't taken away the bitterness I felt. I needed a friend. He was outraged that I hadn't given him the tip, but he let it go as soon as I bought him a milkshake. <laughs> I could have After given him a After the perfect tip. storm of corruption and murder, only friendship could reconcile me with the world. Jake. Only that could make me believe in mankind Is that Jake, again. though? No, I don't think so. Only that could cleanse my soul. Only that. And money. But they didn't show what actually happened to the the match. Even though if he did take or no, well, are we gonna are, do we gonna are we, are we gonna find out what's happened to them now? Like what happened to the match? Let me know. In your standard noir novel. Yale and Stone would be punished for breaking the rules. There would be justice for Sonia, the victim. But this was the real world. As the detective who had cracked the case, I just had to get my paycheck and be on my way. Nice to meet you, Mr. Blacksad. Mm -hmm. Mr. Thorpe is on his way. Care to take a seat while you wait? All right, I'll wait. I guess I'll just have to wait. He'll be here in a minute. Please, take a seat. Okay, I mean, the story still goes on. Which is good. What am I looking at? What am I looking at? The pictures of celebrities. Panda, rabbit. Is that a Kung Fu Panda? Oh, it is. Peter Love. What is the bunny's name? Ooh, oh, most of the animals are there. An owl, master. I don't know what that was. A chicken, cock, oh, okay. Why are we, why are we getting more clues? What the? Um, must have punched a bell, wait. That's not possible. 
But what if Tim Thorpe was somehow involved in Mitchell's operation? Mr. Blacksad? Mr. Thorpe is running later than expected, but he insists on meeting you, if you don't mind. Sure. As long as you help me fight off this boredom. That's not in my job description, but... What do we got there? What's in the diary? Sam, Eric, Sonia, John Blacksand. Dinner with Mayor Rogers. 5.15. Shrine and the Judge enter. Okay. So... Yes. If my hunch is right, there should be a meeting with Mitchell noted somewhere in Thorpe's agenda. Okay. Do you know how long it will take? What am I looking at her head for? If I had her markings on my skin, would I be the same person? No. Would my name be different? I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. All right. Can't remember the date of my first appointment. That helps. Well, you see, I've got a problem. In order to figure out how much Mr. Thorpe owes me, I need to know what day I started working on the case. But I yeah. can't remember. You wouldn't have that written down, would you? It sure wasn't on my shift. I'd remember. Let me see. Okay. So we're going deep now. Miles Burton, Congressman, Forces. What about that? Oh, it's been crossed out. Meeting with Dylan comes. No. What about the next one? Hospital. Wait. Meeting Mayor Smith Hospital. No. Made it with Mitchell. The second one. Nope. Nope. What was his name? What was his full name again? Alright, I thought at least I'm close, but never mind. I thought I'm close, but never mind. Alright. What? Dunn was here two days before he died? Why didn't Thorpe ever mention that? Sorry, but your name's not on here. Oh, the day I came, John Don had just walked out of the door. Wait, I just remembered something. The day I came, Joe Dunn had just walked out the door. Well, no. You don't have any appointments. Although, I guess I could have forgotten to write you in. Mr. Dunn, who's usually very kind, left in a flurry. He even slammed Mr. Thorpe's door. Okay. Now I know I have to get into Thorpe's office. And he yes. didn't even say goodbye. Yes. That was the day. You don't recall me because the minute I saw Dunn stomp out, I followed him. I never actually came in. Of course. That explains it. No doubt. Hmm. So, since it looks like Mr. Thorpe won't be here soon, I think I'll go take a walk down the hall. Gotta stay in shape. She 
suspecting a thing. No. Okay. Come on, Thorpe. Tell me there's a back door to your office. There should be, right? Who can we call? Maybe I should play the Smirnov trump card this time. Cause man. I need your help right now, fella. Smirnov didn't know what to think. He asked me to watch out and call him as soon as I had more information. He also told me that Gil had finally talked. He denied having blocked the basement door and said the truck door opened, but he got knocked on the head as soon as he tried to get out. He then woke up when the police found him beside the basement door. Obviously, the same person who had jammed the door had carried him there. Okay. That's something if Weekly were here, I'd have to tie his hands behind his back. That's a way out right there. To his office now. Hmm. Is that even his office? Cats aren't afraid of heights. That's why I've never felt vertigo. You tell me. Okay, I think this is the office, I guess. I'm not sure. Yep. Alright, what are we looking for? Who's...